Hi everyone, welcome back to another video, and in this one we've got a nice open table here, so I've thrown a few reds onto the table, and all of these reds are portable, I've just spread them out nicely. This is a fantastic way of getting used to break building, because I think when you've got a pack of reds, things are a little bit complicated at first. So you're better off just spreading balls around here. I've got the head cam on, and we're going to have a look at going through this break. So I'm going to put myself on this first red here. And I'm going to set myself up there, actually, so that I can bounce off the cushion. So I'm going to play a bit of about centre ball. So you can see about centre ball there. And just let the white just bounce on and off the cushion, back out for the black. So a nice little shot there, leaving me a shot on the black. Now, obviously, I always talk about thinking um, three shots ahead and having a, a nice plan. But I think at first, you just want to get used to potting the balls that you should pot and trying to get from the black here to another red. So I'm going to try and stun through this little area here and try and leave myself on another red. So I'm going to play my... So go into the shot, keep nice and still, pop the black, and let the white stun out into an area onto another red. So I've actually got choice of a few reds now. So I've got this red here, I've got this one here. Let's go and have a look if I'm on this other one as well. So yeah, I'm nicely on this red here, so I'm going to play this one here. So I'm going to reach, a bit of a stretch, play this one, bit of top spin, on off the cushion, back out for the black again, keep nice and still, and that should leave me a nice shot on this black. Okay, so I'm nicely on this black here, as you can see. Now I'm going to play a nice little stun shot down onto that red that's by the cushion. So you don't have to play for these tricky reds, but I'm going to leave a little angle, so... Play a little stun shot, leave a little angle on that red, and I can now get back to the black again. So, as I say, great way of starting to start to put these breaks together and think about break building. Now, this shot here, you can see the angle I've got here. So, I'm going to play top spin and run the white round the corner. So, top spin of the white, push through, nicely push through, and the white runs round off those two cushions and back out into open play on the black. So again, I'm gonna play a little stun shot here onto that red, so you can see where I'm aiming on the, the cue ball there. Little stun shot out onto this red. Keep nice and still until you see that the black is going in. So I'm always teaching people to keep nice and still. That gives you the, the feedback of the pot going in successfully. So nicely on this red here. Let's just have a little look around. So I always have a little look around. Spotted that I'm on this red to the middle. I'm actually going to play this one just because it might be a bit difficult later to get onto this red perfectly. So let's play it now whilst I'm on it. So nice and low on the white. Nice little soft shot. Holding the white for the pink. So a nice little soft one. And then that red has dropped into the middle. Left me a nice little shot on the pink here. So I can stop the white now, leaving a shot on this red to the other middle. So stand behind my line of aim, pick my spot there, down into the shot, play my shot, keep nice and still, and that's my shot completed. So I've got a nice shot on that red again now. So as I say, try not to think too complicated at first when you're getting used to this. So I'm gonna pop this red now, roll through for the blue. I'd love to be a bit high. If I do finish short, I've got this red to save me here, but. I'm just going to roll through, so keep nice and still, pop my red, and then, yep, you see the way I've gone, a little bit short, so that's why you do it, because I've got a bit of a backup now that I can pop this blue and play the white onto this red, so I'm going to stun the white, so a little bit of stun, and then this will hold the white in the centre of the table, so that'll hold the white for me, and then I'm on that red, and I can leave a shot to get to the blue again. So let's walk round to this red. So, yep, yeah, nice, nice little shot on this red. So let's play a little stun, and then I can hold the white, leave a little angle, and I can get to all three of these reds as long as I've got this angle. So walking into your shot, down on your shot, keep nice and still, play your shot, don't move. And I've left nice little angle on this blue now. So I'm actually going to bring the white now, just down this line gently, down towards the pink, leave myself on this red, because that's the last awkward one that is not just in the middle of the table. So, nice and low on the cue ball, 
not too hard. Got to try and hold it. Yeah, little soft holding shot. And then that's left me nicely on that red and I can now get through to the black. So let's pop this red. So let's pop this red. So top spin on off the cushion. So nice confident shot again. Get the white on and off and towards that black. So this should have left me nicely on the black here, which it has. So I'm just gonna play a little bit of a, a stun screw almost to bring the white to here. I could actually even take the pink here, which is probably a better option. I've got a choice of two. I can bring the white to here, or I can pop the pink and just run it through, which is probably better, and just leave that red to the corner. So nice little shot to just hold it. So not going too far. And almost like a little drag shot there just to hold the white. And let the white just run forward just a fraction for this red. So this red now just off straight. So I can just drop it in, try and leave myself on that black again. So I keep nice and still, not too hard because you'll go too far on the, on the black. And now I've left myself nicely on this black here. So these are key little shots. Got to try and get the white to bounce off. So it's almost middle ball this because of how close the, the white is to the cue ball. So middle ball, let the white bounce on and off. And that leaves me back in a very good position. So yeah, I'm nicely on this red here. Now I can just about get past the black. So I'm going to play top spin, bring the white up here, back for the blue, maybe even a bulk colour. Now I'm always saying when you can, don't play for the black off the last red because that makes it very difficult to get to that yellow. So let's play top spin on the white. So top spin, maybe a touch of left hand side and bring the white up, like I say, blue or even a bulk colour. And then that makes it as easy as it can be to get to the yellow. So I'm gonna play yellow for yellow. So one last shot that's gotta be cued nicely. So you can see the angle I've got just off straight. So if I can screw this back, I'll leave myself on the yellow again. So keep nice and still. So just about all right there, I potted it just to the side of the pocket, which is why I've lost the white very slightly so this shot now i've got to play very delicately so i'm going to actually play right hand side now the reason i'm hitting the white on the right hand side you don't have to start doing things like this but it's going to mean that when it hits this cushion it kills some of the pace of the white so i don't go too far on the green so it means i've got to aim a little bit thicker on this yellow because when i hit the white on the right it's gonna push the white over to the left side. So you've gotta compensate for your aiming. So let's get that right side on. I'm aiming a bit thicker than I normally would. Go through it. And then that side has killed the pace of the cube ball. So you see that? Killed the pace of the cube ball and left me a nice shot on this green. Now I can just play a little holding shot on this green. I haven't got to use a cushion. I can just hit nice and low, hit through the white and then that holds the white nicely for the brown. Now it's a standard shot. Let's get the white off the cushion. I've done detailed videos on clearing the colors where I look at these shots. So this is why you want all these shots in your locker so that you can do what I've just done there and get that shot hopefully right when you need to. So leaving a nice shot straight on the blue. I'd have preferred a bit of angle just to get a bit closer to the pink, but should be okay here. So just roll this through. So yeah, not too far. And then I always like on these just to see the angle there. Just drift the white past the black. So I just let it drift past as long as I pop the pink. The white will just bounce on and off the cushion. And then drift for the black. And then what you always got to do on this black is hopefully drop it in. So not too hard. Just let it drop in. And that's your clearance completed. So I love those open table situations there. You can start to think about your brakes in the right way. So you can start to put those brakes together. Think about getting from the red to the colour. Then if you get more advanced, you can start thinking about leaving the angle on the second ball so you can get perfectly to the third one. But as always, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give the video a like. If you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. That just really helps me to keep all this content coming. 
For anyone that's interested in any personal one-to-one -one training sessions, I'm working on this very table, helping players to improve their game all the time. So if you're having a look in the description box below, you can see all my details there. Get in touch, and I'd love to help you improve your snooker. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one, everybody. Cheers.